Hey, this is Anthony from OQPlay.com and today we will be looking at the Oculus hand tracking. So I've managed to force the update of V12 uh, on the Mac uh, thanks to um, a YouTube video I watched this morning and um, that was on the PC but I managed to do it on the Mac so uh, have a look at the website there'll be a guide on how to do this if you're on the Mac. Um, and how to force an update and hopefully future updates. And um, this has been my first playthrough of the hand tracking. So if I go to settings and about, you can see that I've applied the version 12 update. I didn't get it this morning, unfortunately still, after two days. Um, and now I will be going to experimental features so basically, after the update, uh, both controllers also had updates. And I think once they actually have updated, um, the whole system needs to restart for this hand tracking feature to appear, because earlier this didn't show. So um, after a restart, it then knew about the new update of the controllers and therefore uh, enabled this feature. So this is the first time I'm trying this. So. Um, you basically turn that on, I'm assuming. So, okay, so a tutorial. Here's my digits. That's very cool. So if I cross them, they can't have, can't do anything. Same if I cross my fingers. I can't even touch the tops of the fingers either. That's pretty cool. So, pinch to select. Pinch and hold to scroll. So let's try it. So everyone was saying the, I, the best thing would be actually have to tap on something. That would be the best way of controlling. But for now, it's almost like you've got a touch control in your hands and you're literally pointing a laser pointer still. You can still see the, uh, the beam coming out of my fingers as to where I'm about to uh, select. And you've got this dot that tracks your options. And as soon as you pinch, you've got, you can see the circle increasing and decreasing in size. So there's only two apps that use this functionality at the moment. And um, <clears throat> other than the menu, it's the two Oculus apps, uh, Oculus TV and the browse. So as long as you're pinching, you can manipulate, which is quite cool. Um, you almost have to tap on the tile rather than in the middle of it. And if you come off, you can't, you're still not connect, you're not connected, see? So you have to stay in the zone. Uh, library, that obviously works. So it's a nice way of getting in. If people aren't used to using touch controllers, quite intuitive. Right, let's try going back. Right. That should, or is it this hand? Okay, <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Right, so let's try. to let's do Oculus TV okay so basically you've got to wait 
for your hand to turn blue. So your, your palm has to be almost facing your, your eyes rather than away from you. You can see it turns blue. So again, this all works, not as intuitively, but sometimes you can do a miss hit, which I've just done now. <clears throat> Go into a actual thing. So this is going to be great for punching games. Probably not for if you're going to ever cross them. So maybe punching games might not be uh, unless they figure out the tracking. The punching games aren't going to really utilize this that well as soon as your fingers cross or for a cross punch it's gonna actually lose tracking so and until they actually improve on that I uh, can't see they are going to be um, utilized that well same for like I thought climb the climb game would be uh, a good use of this but if you're gonna sort of cross hands over I see it your tracking's lost but you can once you're past the center point of your two hands crossing, then it does do that. So unless they use some uh, AI or some sort of um, algorithm to continue tracking like you do with the touch controllers when they're over your head, um, that might be a way of getting around this issue. Um, let's try this. Why didn't that work? Oh. oh, there you go. So some things do need, you can navigate, but you can't actually play anything. <laughs> okay, so let's go back. browser so so here you want to almost touch type on a, on a keyboard that's down here that'd be pretty cool but instead you've got to um, Oh, that's annoying. Oh, oh, you can do that, good. Can I do this? Yeah. So, let's give it a go. Can I do two? Yeah, I can. Oh, so it's not as intuitive. think sometimes your hand is tapped. Ah. You've got to keep your hand in the keyboard. If you go out, it'll close it or dismiss it. And basically, toggling between um, controllers and hands is just by toggling this um, option. So my controllers are turned off now. So if I re enable them, they come back. And carry on as is. If I want to use my hands, your hands come back, and then you can use your hands. All very cool. And it's early days, and over the coming months, I'm sure this will improve, and uh, a couple of games will start to utilize it, I'm sure, um, as developers get the SDK next week. Uh, so I don't think you'll expect anything um, 
to arrive this side of the year. I'm sure it'll be next year, and potentially we might see some experimental stuff on SideQuest uh, um, over the coming weeks. I'm sure as uh, developers have a have a play around and see what's what's possible with uh, this controlling method. Awesome. All right. So that's all for now. Um, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye. Thank you.